Stay tuned for the Big Jack and Little John show. <laughs> Woo! Oh, boy. <laughs> As we join the Hartskis today, we find Mary and daughter Heather waiting for Tom to come home from work. Hi, Daddy. Can I go over to Sally's house and see if she wants to go for a bike ride later? Sure, Heather. Go ahead. Ah, oh, Tom, I feel so bad for her riding that shabby old bike, especially when Sally has a brand new 10-speed. Yeah, I feel bad, too, but we just can't afford a new bike. Aw, Tom. Now, don't nag me, Mary. I had a tough day. There's nothing wrong with that bike that a little fixing up won't cure. I know, Tom, but... No buts, Mary. Now, don't get me worked up. I'm going to take a nap because our big bowling tournament starts tonight. Well... Bye, Mary. Wish me luck. Bye, Tom. Good luck. Where's Heather? She's out riding her brand new sparkling bike. New? Mary, you didn't. Relax, Tom. I took your advice. I scrubbed it up. I oiled it up. I got a can of spray paint and painted it up. And, Tom, it looks beautiful. See, I was right, Mary. Oh, I'm proud of you. Boy, I feel a lot better about that now. You really know how to make a guy feel good, okay? Thank you, Tom. Now you can relax and concentrate on your game. Have a good time, Tom. Bye. <laughs> Well, won't Tom feel good when he sees the new paint job on his car, too? <laughs> Join us next time for... Mary Husky! Mary Husky! Guess we're gonna be cellmates for a while. Yeah, I heard you were coming today. Uh, you're doing a 15 to 20, right? Right. I'm doing a 30 year stretch. So since you'll be getting out first, why don't you take the bunk by the door? Hey, good thinking. Okay. Here's your grub, guys. There you go. Hey, thank hey, you. There thanks. You go. Okay. All right. Hey, seems like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Are all the guards that friendly? Yeah, you know, ever since the state got into prison reform, Things have been a lot better around here. A lot of recreation? Almost every day. Hmm. Visiting hours? Yeah, well, they've been increased. 
We can watch TV more. Things are pretty good. Mm. Tell you one thing, though. What's that? The food. Nowhere near as good as it was when you were governor. <laughs> really? Yep. You used to have roast beef. I missed all that. and sauerkraut, oh. apple pie. <laughs> Big Mouth, you asked for this. Are you ready? I'll be ready in just a second. I want to think about this. Aha! Chicken it out. I thought so. All mouth, no action. I'll go through with it. I, all I need is a little more time. You didn't need any time with your insults last night. You challenge and I accept it. I know. I just don't think I'm getting a fair shake with this school. You you'd meet me any place, any time. This is the place, so take 10 paces and start shooting. <laughs> Excuse me, what's that on your feet? Shoes. What else? Socks. Can you spell socks? S-O-C-K-S. You just said, that's what I mean in Spanish. Hey, speaking Spanish is easy. Stand on a chair and see a loose light. I don't see a loose light. No, no, you don't have to stand on a chair, just visualize it and you can speak Spanish. Stand on a chair and see a loose light. Sia means chair, loose means light. Wow, speaking Spanish is fun. Oh, hey, don't touch that rope. What does that mean in Spanish? Adios, muchachos. <laughs> que sera, sera. Vaya con Dios. Corinthian weather. <laughs> Okay, who's next, please? I am, Doctor. Mrs. Shubsky. Hey, good to see you again. What's the problem? Something seems to be wrong with my poochie, Doctor. Well, let's have a look here. Has he been eating okay? Well, everything's been fine until this morning when I found him laying under my bed. He's been very still and listless. He hasn't moved all day. Is he okay, Doctor? Well, I'm afraid I've got some very bad news for you. Oh, no. What is it, Doctor? You're going to have to get a new set of eyeglasses. This is your bedroom slipper. Oh, <laughs> honey. honey. Oh, those are slippers. Oh, my gosh. Father Murphy, your brother is here to see you. Thank you, Charlene. Send in that no good bub. Well, top of the morning to you, Father. I'll be betting you're calling me to join you for dinner on St. Patty's Day. Sit down, you lazy lout. If you weren't beyond brother, I'd cuff you one. Well, then why did you call me then? Because I promised our dear old mother that with St. Patty's Day coming up, I would warn you about drinking too much, like you always do. Well, a few drinks don't hurt a man. I knew you'd say something like that. So I'm going to show you something that even a nincompoop could understand. Now, in this glass, I'm going to pour ordinary water. And in this glass, 
I am going to pour some of your favorite brand of gin. Now, in this container are some worms that I dug up to go fishing. I am going to take a worm right here and put it in the nice, clean, cool water. And just see how he moves around, huh? And now I'm going to put a worm into the gin. And look what happens. Dead as a mackerel. Now, what lesson have you learned from this? A very good one. It means if you drink booze, you'll never get worms. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Father, Sunday. <laughs> And <laughs> woman, <laughs> birth, <laughs> death, <laughs> infinity. <laughs> Been crazy. Okay, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Who's next, please? Oh, Mr. Rinaldi, I'm so glad you stopped by. Just sit, sit right there. Hi, Dr. Crazy. Yes. Just stopped by to see if you got my test results back yet. Well, yes, yes I did. Well, how did they turn out? Well, Mr. Rinaldi, I'm afraid I have bad news and terrible news for you. Bad news and terrible news? What's the bad news? The bad news is you only have 24 hours to live. Only 24 hours to live? 24 hours? If, if that's the bad news, what's the terrible news? I tried to call you yesterday. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
evening, and welcome to Looney Legends. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, wherein Snow White was proclaimed fairest in all the land, much to the dismay of a wicked queen who poisoned an apple, gave it to a witch, and told her to give it to Snow White. After taking a bite of the apple, Snow White was cast into a spell of eternal sleep, a spell that could only be broken if a handsome prince would kiss her. While under the spell, Snow White was cared for by a family of dwarves. Well, little be known to most people, in a certain ethnic country, at the very same time, a similar story was taking place. This, then, is tonight's loony legend. Mr. and Mrs. Rinaldi next.
Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Are you a fast runner? A fast runner? Yep. Well, some years ago when I was younger, I could run pretty fast, but uh, now you wouldn't consider me a fast runner. No. Uh -uh. Good. Ha <laughs> ha! 